Welcome again. In this session, we are reading a passage of scripture that is entitled, Jesus' Sorrow for Jerusalem, or Jesus Will Die at Jerusalem. We are reading Luke chapter 13, verses 31 through 35. Let's start at verse 31. On that same day, some Pharisees came, saying to him, Get out of here and go away, for Herod wants to kill you. Well, it sounds like they care for Jesus, don't they? They want him to get out of the way so that Herod doesn't kill him. Verse 32. He said to them, Go and tell that fox. Behold. By the way, is that respecting and honoring the authority? Okay. But we know that he calls him a fox because in in other parts parts of Scripture, there are different animals that represent different nationalities, okay, and different personalities. So Jesus said to him, go and tell that fox, behold, I cast out demons and perform cures today and tomorrow, and the third day I complete my mission. Nevertheless, I must go on my way today and tomorrow and the next day, for it can't be that a prophet would perish outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to her. How often I wanted to gather your children together, like a hen gathers her own brood under her wings, and you refused. Behold, your house is left to you desolate. I tell you, you will not see me until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And that is, by the way, a direct quote out of Psalm 118, verse 26. Jesus is the Jewish Messiah. He is the Jewish rabbi. Okay? He is what you might call an orthodox Jewish rabbi. As a Jewish rabbi... His heart is at Jerusalem. His heart is for Jerusalem. He lamented over Jerusalem because the people of Jerusalem would not, would not receive him, would not have him, would not, they, they could, they did not see who he really was. He wanted to get on with things. He wanted to establish God's kingdom in a way that everybody else wanted to, but they just, they could not see their blessing that was standing right in front of them. So yes, he was very sorrow, sorrowful. And he basically prophesied that he will be killed. He will die in Jerusalem. What a, what a very sobering thought to end this chapter with. But that's, uh, that is the way it is. And so you got any uh, comments? You got any um, insights that you want to share? Make sure you leave it in the comments. And... Um, Contact me, and as you go your way, I ask the Lord to show you. I ask the Father in heaven to show you great and mighty things, to enlighten the eyes of your understanding so that you may know the deep and wonderful mysteries of God. Thanks again.